so tonight I'm in Vancouver and I'm getting ready to play a show. And I, I just decided for my video blog, you guys know that I'm not very good about typing in or anything like that, you know, all my thoughts and stuff like that. I'm just not very good at that kind of thing. But I thought about tonight, the, the thought went through my head, why do I love playing the live show of Building 429? The answer to that question um, really is probably truth more than anything else. It's truth. Um, why do I love live shows? Uh, because it's 110% of everything that Building 429 has. I mean, everything that we've got, you know, nothing is left um, on the stage, if you know what I mean. Uh, and yet, um, what I've learned over the last 10 years of doing this and what I've found to be the kind of most endearing moments are the moments where mistakes are made, the moments where, where an imperfect person such as myself uh, goes up on stage and, and busts out and maybe sings the wrong note. Um, we've kind of, we've here at Building 429 Land, have kind of decided to call those moments uh, moments of truth. Um, because um, these days with modern technology, see, it's, it's really easy um, extremely easy to come off like you're perfect, meaning modern technology makes it easy for you. And I wouldn't have to sing a note if I didn't want to. I mean, I could walk up there and and, um, and lip sync the whole show. I mean, in fact, that's what a lot of people do. I wouldn't have to play guitar if I didn't want to either because, well, modern technology takes care of that. And, um, and I guess um, it's funny that now, 10 years later, I, I don't look at a show from a side of, you know, how how perfect I was. I mean, in fact, the moments that I tend to come off stage laughing about and enjoying the most are the moments where I either go for something and maybe miss it a little bit, or the moments where um, I make a huge mistake, you know, and, and still God moves through that. Um, and I think, you know, that's, that's probably true even in the spiritual realm, you know. There's so many people out there that would say, uh, I think if a person ever does say they've got it together and that their life is the way it should be and all that type of stuff, then you have, you have to have major questions about that. In as much as you watch a band and they're note for note perfect and the lead singer doesn't ever sing a wrong note ever, and uh, then you have to kind of raise your eyebrows and go, hmm, something weird going on there. But I think that tonight, tonight is show number, I don't know, 15 in Canada. I have no idea really um, what number this is but I've got six to go before I get home and um, I think the thing that gets me the most excited about this evening is the fact that a guy who is not perfect and who is sang a bunch of shows and maybe extremely tired is going to go on stage and throw his heart and soul out and uh, and he's not going to be perfect I'm going to make mistakes those are our moments of truth I'll look over at Jesse if I sing something wrong and I'll laugh and I'll wink at him and go yeah that's right you didn't sing it perfect but it was you and I think that's beautiful, man. So wherever you are, whatever you're going through today, I don't know what it is. Um, the coolest part about being a believer is knowing that God can use you in spite of your brokenness and in spite of your imperfection. And uh, tonight, the goal for us will be um, for us to encounter the living God. Imperfections and everything in tow. And I guess that's my thought for today. You're imperfect. So be it can't do anything about it, but the beautiful thing is, in your imperfection, you're actually being truthful. There's power in the truth. The truth shall set you free. I don't know, 15 minutes I'll be on the stage, and we'll see what the truth does. I'm excited about it, though. Here we go. Canada Day number something, 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 something. Six days away from home. My thought for the day.